welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa. If you're new here, it is so nice to meet you. Valentine's Day is coming up. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a general collective reading in regards to love. And I'm trying to give Venus today. I'm going to be using my Ethereal Visions deck, my C Melodies deck, and my True Love Oracle deck to get the messages from spirit for you in regards to your love life. Please remember with any online tarot reading, please use discretion. If it resonates with you, then it was meant for you. And if it does not, then it wasn't. We're out here at the Marina Del Rey today to film because I thought it would be kind of fun to switch up the location. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? So we're on the Marina and I'm gonna give you a love reading a love message straight from spirit so let's go ahead and get started oh i'm also going to be doing a part two for lack of a better word a little bit of an extended reading on my patreon so it'll be available to all of my paying patreon members and if you're interested in the extended version of this reading make sure to go to my patreon and sign up all right we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it um, i'm gonna start with the tarot and kind of use this as an energy check and if this resonates with you then this message is meant for you. All right, spirit, please connect me with the beautiful collective who clicked on this video. Please connect me with everyone who's watching this that wants information in regards to their love life. All right, we've got one card. We've got the two of pentacles, starting out with the two of pentacles. And then we've got, ooh, okay, we've got a siren here. I always take everything around me as a part of the message here. So perhaps there's a, perhaps there's an imminent choice that needs to be made in your love life. Uh, we have the five cups and one more spirit, one more message for this general collective in regards to love. And we've got the nine of swords. Okay, and then on the bottom of the deck energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles. I am picking up the message that in regards to your love life, you might be feeling pretty down lately, pretty negative about your current circumstances. With the Five of Cups, this reminds me of a disappointment kind of energy. And with the Nine of Swords here, this is anxiety, overthinking, right? This paired with the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles is trying to balance something balance two things two energies or even two people for some of you perhaps some of you are currently being faced with a choice between one partner or another or in regards to your love life you're kind of seeing a split path here and you're trying to decide what path to take and spirit is encouraging you to continue to work on yourself and if you continue to work on yourself, the answer will just come naturally to you, right? Because with the Eight of Pentacles, this is all about hard work. So the type of hard work that you want to do, the type of hard work that is consistent, right? With this Two of Pentacles, it's just making me think that either you're choosing between a positive outlook and a negative outlook in regards to your love life, or you're choosing between staying with someone and leaving them, or you're choosing between two different people here. I feel like you've just faced a lot of negative energy lately, and some of you could be putting yourself in this negative energy by the overthinking, right, that you're experiencing. Spirit is pointing out that you might be feeling disappointed, but some of that disappointment is entirely your choice, right? It's about your perspective. It's about how you approach life. You know, people who live positively, um, especially in their love lives, they tend to attract more positive people into their lives. And if you're living negatively, if you're living a life of negativity, you're only going to attract that energy into your life through partners, for example. So perhaps you guys are facing some disappointment um, in a partner, maybe perhaps the choices they're making, um, the way you feel about them has become negative as of recently, or you're feeling disappointed by them. And Spirit is really asking you to follow the light, follow the positivity, right? If that means leaving somebody behind, if following your positivity means you have to leave somebody behind in order to leave the negativity behind, then spirit is encouraging you to do just that, okay? I'm going to pull two more tarot cards for some clarification. Okay, these two immediately came out. 
So we've got the Nine of Wands, and these came out together, and the Three of Pentacles. So this is something in regards to work. Maybe the person you are thinking of in regards to your love life is in your workplace. Um, that's an energy I'm picking up on with the Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. This is about collaboration and hard, consistent work, being open to other people's ideas. And the Nine of Wands is the energy of you're almost at the finish line, right? You're almost there and just to hang on a little longer because the wish you want, the dream you want, the manifestation you want is just around the corner. And with all of these energies here, I'm just feeling like the answers you're looking for are within and if you continue to work towards any type of goal, the answer will come naturally to you, okay? Um, perhaps spirit is encouraging you to confide in the people surrounding you in regards to this connection in regards to your love life um, and maybe they could even give you the clarity you're looking for or perhaps your friends your loved ones your trusted ones could say something that you really needed to hear or say something in a way that you didn't think about something in the past like they'll say one sentence or say one thing that really changes your whole perspective on this five of cups and nine of swords energy this overthinking this seeing the lack in everything this negativity this crying over spilled milk for lack of a better word because the five of cups is disappointment in a small affair um, maybe something small that is I mean seemingly small in the grand scheme of life um, happened in regards to your love life you are really harping on that you're it's keeping you up at night it's changing your perspective on love even um, which can be quite a scary thing because whenever you think of love one way for a very very long time and then something happens right someone hurts you or disappoints you and it, you can feel your perspective of love starting to shift that can be a very daunting thing i think spirit is asking you to ground ground your thoughts ground your ideas confide in other people there's nothing wrong with getting other opinions right for opening up to your loved ones to your trusted ones you can eat the meat and spit out the bones for lack of a better word so you don't have to take everything your loved one says as fact you can just interpret whatever they say their advice their perspective on life because everybody's perspective on life and love is going to be different it's going to look different because we all have different experiences and spirit is saying Confiding in the people around you and perhaps collaborating on a solution could be very beneficial um, But at the end of the day you should be trusting your intuition always and you are almost at clarity You are almost at the end here. There is definitely a choice to be made and I'm feeling it's more so choosing a positive outlook in regards to your love life because the truth is Nobody lacks love, right? You might feel like you lack romantic love. You might feel like you lack people who love you but love can be found in everything love can be found outside of yourself it can be found in your experiences in your friendships in your family members i think spirit is actually really encouraging you to maybe table the idea of romantic love right now and really go within work on yourself work on your outlook on life oh and i didn't even realize we have the knight of wands on the bottom of the deck so i feel like spirit is saying if you really take the time to seek out the positive seek out unconditional love in the people that are already around you the experiences you're already having i feel like once you do that and you heal that part of yourself that you're seeking out this negativity once that is healed once you begin that healing journey only then will your knight of wands come in right the knight of wands energy is someone who's very passionate a knight card pulled in a spread it really does make me think of a love offer, right? So a passionate, driven, um, ambitious person romantically could come into your life once you learn to appreciate what you already have and stop putting all your eggs in the basket of romantic love, right? Nurturing the love you already have is the first step here. So now I'm going to pull some oracle cards. So next I'm going to use my true love oracle cards here to pull some messages from spirit, some advice in regards to your love life. I just got these cards and they are so beautiful and stunning. I mean the art on them it's just perfect. I love these cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some for you and carve out this reading and see what 
what other messages we can get from spirit. Am I giving Venus today? Is it giving Venus? I really tried. I tried to give Venus today. All right, spirit, please connect me with this collective in regards to this reading using these oracle cards here. A message, I think I'm gonna pull two. What is a message or two messages that will carve out this reading, give, give this collective some more clarity? So we've got, we've got chivalry with the number three. So three, in the three of pentacles here, that's interesting. And the knight of wands and threes to me, I associate the number three with a creative energy. Perhaps spirit is encouraging you guys to go to creative spaces, right? Collaborate with other creative people. Perhaps you'll meet this knight of wands character when you tap back into a creative space and they are going to come forward with a love offer. This is a person coming in with a love offer. They have some roses here. This very much, this card very much reminds me of the Knight of Wands. There's horses on both of these. There's men coming in, a person coming in with a love offer. Okay, I'm going to read this card chivalry for you guys from the guidebook to see what spirit has to say directly to you. To be chivalrous is synonymous with having integrity and courage. Who or what is a chivalrous man and how does he behave? A chivalrous male will face up to the many challenges that life presents and protect the people he loves and whatever he truly believes in. On a less heroic, more everyday note, he is both a protector and provider and applies himself to these roles at the levels of family, friendship, intimate relationship, and community. The chivalrous male has a deep respect for the feminine and a powerful understanding that he himself is nurtured by supporting the feminine and helping her thrive. He recognizes that actions like opening a door for a woman or offering a lady a seat can add a flourish of charm and style to the way he lives his life and derives joy from them. Moreover, he takes pride in the fact that he can be gallant without losing his sense of self or feeling demeaned. Appreciating and enjoying the inherent differences between the masculine and feminine helps the chivalrous male to enjoy this way of being and to be uplifted by the company of the luminous woman. By drawing this card today, you are calling the energy of chivalry into your life. If you are a man, you are encouraged to be, consider ways in which being chivalrous can enhance your life and to find more ways to demonstrate it. But beware, chivalry is not just about going through the motions. It's about understanding the subtle interplay of masculine and feminine energies and tapping into the sublime source of nurture, warmth, support, and love that is available from the secure and supported feminine. If you are a woman, this card is asking you to look at ways you could allow more chivalry into your life and encouraging you to look for the chivalrous qualities in the men around you. When a man does something chivalrous, gallant, or polite for you, thank him and let him know that you noticed his chivalrous quality. A compliment such as this will surely motivate him to behave this way again in the future. This knight of shining armor energy, and perhaps this seagull. Perhaps this Five of Cups and Nine of Swords energy, perhaps you're used to being treated a certain way by your romantic partners. Perhaps you're used to not <laughs> getting what you deserve. Perhaps you expect the worst out of somebody, like say you're going on a first date, you don't expect them to open the door for you. You don't expect them to pull out your chair. You don't expect them to treat you with respect because perhaps it's just not something you've ever experienced. Spirit is asking you, I just heard this actually, this message, message is very specific. Spirit is saying, if your friends can be polite to you, if your friends, coworkers, family members can all treat you with respect, why can't your romantic partners do the same thing? You are not asking for too much by being respected, cared for, and supported. And the more you ask for, the more you will get. I think, in manifestation on the bottom of the deck, yeah, you, all, your life, your living life is a living, breathing entity. It's it stands on its own and you are the mother of your own life. You create your own life, your own reality by your thoughts. I think Spirit is saying you might be attracting crappy people into your life because you're not asking for enough. Um, Spirit is really encouraging you to look at all the relationships in your life. And if, you're ha if you have nurturing relationships, then your romantic partners should be able to match that energy. You should not settle in your romantic life 
because you're not settling in any other part of your life is what I keep hearing. You have a very supportive workplace, you have a supportive friend group, you have supportive parents, family members, uh, etc. So why are you settling when it comes to your romantic life? You deserve to be swept off your feet. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to pull one more. Spirit, this beautiful love reading. And you know, I know this is not like, maybe not the most positive reading um, and I'm kind of calling you guys out, but I don't sugarcoat things whenever I do readings for people. Okay, we got another card here. Um, okay, yeah, we have self-respect on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, respect yourself enough to ask for what you deserve. If you're a woman and you're going out on a date or you're seeing someone, if they're not treating you the way you deserve, cut them loose. They're simply not worth your time, right? We have number 15, the garden. So let's see what this says. The garden. Honor yourself as the beautiful person you are, trusting in life as it is. The garden is lush and fertile when she is healthy, barren, and forbidding when she is neglected. She ebbs and flows with the seasons, is still when she needs to be, and full of color, life, and nourishment when the timing is right. She bursts with fruit and flowers and attracts all things good to her. Yes, you put good out, good energy out, good will come back to you, absolutely. The birds agree with me. Animals and people come to marvel at her beauty, enjoy her cool shade, inhale her fragrance, and restore themselves. In a world where we are constantly under pressure to be active, the idea of being the garden rather than the gardener can seem far too passive. In this context, however, to be passive means to be peaceful and in a state of trust, trusting that all you need is available to you without having to hunt it down. Yes, you know, relationships that are meant for you will find you, right? You don't always need to go out and look for it. I think Spirit is saying if you focus on yourself and your own internal world, the rest will come naturally. Modern women will wonder how long they need to wait for a suitable gardener to come along, while modern men may feel that they already have enough to do without having to nurture the feminine in their lives as well. Um, you could be a man watching this and it, you know, spirit could be encouraging you to maybe step more into your divine masculine, but if you're a woman watching this, I 100% am reading this reading as leaning on others, being okay with leaning on others, especially if you're having anxious thoughts. Um, and you should seek out romantic partners that you can lean on. The truth is that we all have an inner garden and gardener and true abundance develops in your life when you maintain a healthy balance between the two. You have drawn this card today because your inner garden is in need of some attention. Be sure to reconnect yourself to the feminine cycles of nature by spending time in an actual garden and tuning into the vibration of the season by enjoying a healthy meal made only from fruits and vegetables that are in season, filling a vase with fresh flowers, or by spending time outside where you will be exposed to the climate and environment, like we are today. Consider the blessings and bounty you have to share with those you love, honor your own inner cycles, and see yourself once more as the beautiful person that you are. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty straightforward. 100%, you deserve to be pampered, you deserve to be treated, not only with respect, but treated as a garden, right? Women or anybody needs certain things to survive. You need nurture to, to survive. You don't have to be so independent all of the time. While I think being independent is wildly important, I feel like spirit here is encouraging you to seek out help in others, whether it be your any loved one, but I feel like if you can perfect leaning on your loved ones you have now, then this Knight of Wands character is just gonna fly right in and sweep you off your feet is really what I'm getting with this chivalry card as well. Now I'm going to pull some final advice cards before I end out this reading and we move on over to the extended on Patreon. So I am using the C Melodies deck to get some messages from the mermaids, the sirens in regards to your love life. I have a message in regards to the person who is watching this, their love life, please. Thank you. Oh, we got two. We have, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we were talking about. Okay, so we have self-care. Yes, nurture yourself first. Nurture your inner world first. Drowning doesn't always require water. Yeah, with this nine of swords here, you can't call in 
a healthy love connection if you yourself is not healthy, is not in a healthy place, right? Um, focusing on yourself is not um, going to put off or delay uh, a romantic connection. If anything, it's going to bring it in quicker for you. We have direction. Trust your own inner compass and find your bearings. Find your bearings, yeah, for sure. Inner, your inner world, your inner love, your self-love should absolutely uh, be coming first for you guys. All right, you guys, I think that is all for this beautiful love reading out here on the Marina Del Rey today. I'm going to take it over to the extended now on Patreon. If you want more information, um, be sure to go over there and sign up so that you can watch it. But I love, love, love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and subscribe if you liked this and I will see you all the next time. I hope you have a very happy Valentine's Day. This is the month of love and overall, just be sure to nourish yourself on this healing journey, this, this life that we are all living and seek community in your loved ones. It'll benefit you greatly, okay? Love you. Mm -hmm.